Welcome, anyone and everyone, to Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice. This is not my first time playing this on my channel, but uh, I do feel like, um, given the amount of progress I've made over the years, uh, I, I think it would just be best if I kind of re, you know, went through, not only for myself, but for anyone that, you know, follows my channel to any degree, uh, asking you to go back and watch the old footage that I captured four years ago when I was using a headset mic, didn't know anything about keeping, you know, um, audio levels consistent and had the worst, uh, like, it was, like, the footage was so dark. I've gone back and, and looked at a couple of them to see if it was worth asking people to go back and watch that series. And it's just, I don't know. It's it's back before I gave a shit. Um, I was kind of just uploading videos into the void. Um, wanting to, uh, you know, just, just hoping that at one point, you know, the algorithm... Algorithm would maybe do me a favor, but even even then, like if anybody came across those, I would have. Yeah, they're just they're not great. So I've gone ahead and done the uh, done the courtesy of taking those down, and I will be playing this kind of in one fell swoop. It's only seven hours long. I'll probably still split the videos up into multiple videos. I'm I'm going a little bit crazy right now because I've had. Probably a week off from not playing anything. Um, I played a little bit of Hell Divers here and there, and I'm, I'm gonna promise to keep on on task and not yap so much. But the point is that uh, I, I I've I've been without having to record anything, and Ghost of Tsushima is supposed to come out later tonight, or actually it's tomorrow. And that was kind of the whole point of this was that uh, I was gearing for it to come out. Uh, you know midnight eastern time turns out it's not coming out until 8 a.m pacific time so that's really fucking great and because of that i got bored figured that with hellblade 2 right around the corner it would do some good for me to get refreshed on the story given that it's been four years since i played this i do think it's a phenomenal game if you have not played hellblade at all I would recommend you play it for yourself, but if you are here watching it with me, I can't thank you enough. There's a couple things here. One, I would recommend that you play it with headphones or or listen with headphones. It it said so right in the intro. Um, it's it it is it's integral to how the game uh, is played. And if you play it with me, uh, you know it it I'll I'll make sure that you know everything stays the way it's supposed to. And it's just, it's such an experience, but the headphones are necessary. If you've got, you know, earbuds, whatever, just something to put the sound inside of your head and, and, you know, close that gap between you and whatever speakers are in your vicinity. So that th there's that. Um, and, uh, well, I mean, I guess the, uh, other than the fact that I, there's probably going to be a lot of things that I remember, a lot of my reactions are going to... I mean, I remember a handful of things. I don't remember a whole lot. Um, but, you know, if if I if I seem somewhat unauthentic or disingenuous, it, it's just I have played this before. So if if it doesn't come as a complete surprise, don't be surprised. But uh, without, you know, much further, um, you know, just trying not to to keep talking without playing. Uh, I'm glad you're here. If you're going to stick around and, and you want to check this out before Hellblade 2 drops, I'm, I'm going to be dropping all those videos all at once so that you can just kind of watch it all the way through. Don't have to take it day by day. And um, yeah, I am kind of excited. Kind of excited to, to play this. Definitely excited to, to be playing a game again. Ever, ever since Final Fantasy, I've had l nothing to do. So let's... Get the show on the road. Hello. Who are you? Doesn't matter. Welcome. You're safe with me. I'll be right here. Nice and close, so I can speak without alerting the others. Ah, oh, there it is. Yep, there it is. Let me tell you about Senua. 
Oh, it's so trippy. Her story has already come to an end, but now it begins anew. What's happening? It's breathing. Ugh. It's breathing. It's breathing. He knows she's getting closer. He can feel her coming closer. She's getting closer. They're watching. They're watching. They're watching. This is a journey deep into darkness. There'll be no more stories after this one. What is she doing? Why is she doing this? They're watching. They Why isn't she coming time? back? She's doing this for him. She wants to rescue him. He's they already dead. You coming. Shh. Quiet. Alright, I still don't oh, know. I'm still not controlling anything, okay? You, the others. you hear them too, right? They've been around ever since the tragedy. Oh, that's not quite true. Some are old, some are new, but they've changed. I think the darkness changed them just like it changed her. Can you see them over there? Why isn't she looking? I'm looking, I'm looking. God damn. <laughs> Goddamn, still as creepy as ever. Can you see them? Can you see them? They're going to do that to you. I can see them, thanks. Thank you. <sighs> um They're watching. Stop. Can you feel them watching? They're watching her. I feel like I should have given a little bit more background on this game. Um than I did. Back when I played this, it was four years ago. I was still living with my dad, and I was... Shit. Hello? What is she thinking? I'm getting, like, these weird mini stutters, like, every... So often. She's afraid. Wouldn't you be? I ain't afraid. Shut the fuck up. You'd think she would get used to it by now after so many years. But the darkness... It just builds onto itself, growing stronger, towering over her. You might try and ignore it, turn away. But it's always there, just out of sight, where you're most vulnerable. It's like it knows that just enough light is all you need to see its suffocating power. Ugh. What a beautiful game. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I played this a little over four years ago. It was 2020, and it was right after, you know, the big thing started. I don't know if it's okay to say it or not anymore on the platform, but I'm not going to risk it. Bravery only means something to those afraid of death. Then it was fear. Runs far. Uh, um, and I think a friend of mine may have recommended this to me, or I saw it in the Steam recommended page when I first came across it. I could have swore 
I at least played it once and then was talking to a buddy that had played it. And I was telling him, like, how have I never heard of this game before? It's so phenomenal. I was really just looking for a game to play because I had finished, you know, consequently I'm in the same boat. Uh, n no pun intended on the on the boat thing, but I was finished with... Um, what is she looking at? not too late to get into the boat and go back. No one will judge her. No one will ever know. Oh, she heard us. There's no going back. You can't do it. Sending her pushes away a world that conspired to cause so much suffering. There's nothing to go back to, and worse to look forward to. I mean, technically you could just swim out to it, but... Why don't you join us? Maybe you too have a part to play in this story. God, the sound is amazing in this game. Uh, yeah, so I played it right after the big thing happened. Uh, I was looking for a game to play after Resident Evil 3, I think it was, and, um... And I came across this gem, and I have been... I, I think something along the lines of maybe, like, uh, there was annou an announcement of Hellblade 2. And I was like, well, I want to get this game in before the next game comes out. Yeah, I know, I know, I'm trying to... I'm trying to... What? There we go. Do not forget my story, Senua. Because your darkness comes from hell, and your fate lies there. They say the burning of a corpse will take you straight to Hella's gate. But gods and the living will follow this path. You must leave the Isles of Orkney across the Eastern Sea and find a road that leads north and down through deep, dark valleys. After nine nights of riding, you will follow a great river and will find a bridge covered in gold. The path to Helheim goes from there, across the river of knives that flows from the dark world of Niflheim. Uh, obviously pretty heavily inspired by Norse mythology. Um, I was looking for a game to play, and I, I, I don't know, I guess I'll just try and fill in the gaps here while I'm walking around with some of the background, but I was looking for a game to play, found this gem, Hellblade 2 was coming out, or at least it was announced, and I was like, I want to play this game before the new one comes out. Yeah, fucking right. I didn't know it was going to take four extra years for the game to come out. Jesus Christ, it's still fucking creepy, though. Um... Oh, God. And I was- I was just blown away because it's a really cool game and I can't wait to play it again, I think. Oh, fuck. What? What? I need to run? I don't know how to run. I don't- I don't know how to run. I don't know how to run. Oh Ah oh, god dude this fucking these sounds sending chills down my spine So in this one not this time uh in this one just a little bit of a background Senua the main character is on a quest um to do something with the land of mist and fog her husband the old fool was right what was it he said the river of knives across which lies the halls of hell the place they call hellheim
is no doubt about it. The source of the darkness is in Helheim. And the goddess Hela holds his soul there. Her dear beloved, Dillian. So, Dillian is the dude on our waist. As Mimir is to God of War, or uh, to Kratos, sorry. I'm kind of in it right now. And she's trying to revive him, maybe? Uh, I can't remember, I, I don't remember what the ultimate goal is, but she's doing it for him. Yep, okay. They're giving plenty of background, don't know why I'm yapping about it. Um, I'm getting a lot of stutter here. I might change the graphic settings. She forgets too. But she does remember that only the dead may cross it. That part wasn't so easy to forget. Oh. The old fool said there was a hidden path up to it. Let's see. Very interesting. Okay, so like this would be in in relation to the way that God of War interpreted or Oh my god. Like the God of War interpretation when they went to Helheim and this was the bridge into the city of Helheim and uh you know Jesus fucking Christ. There was a there was a giant bird overwatching it. I forgot what the bird's name is, but that would be the giant bird, right? Oh my god, so many fucking screams. It's freaking me out. And this is the bridge, the one that uh, Mimir said, don't ever go there. And as Senua, she didn't give a fuck. She's going to go straight there. By the way, which we actually never, well, I mean, we did a little bit in, in the first one. Went to Helheim to, to, well, it, it, yeah, I don't know. I wonder if that, if that part of the game will ever be like fully explored. There's another thing here to reflect on. If you don't know already, I mean, it's fairly obvious, but maybe you don't. It, she's She's got some form of psychosis. I'm pretty sure like she's got schizophrenia. I am, I'm not a psychiatrist or any sort of doctor. I don't know officially. Uh, pretty shit watch actually if you're if you're asking me and I have no idea about most of it but I just I know it's a good game so the Northmen speak of nine worlds the world of men they call Midgard sky gods dwell in Asgard the gods of earth harvest wind and sea dwell in Vanaheim the good elves dwell in Alfheim the evil ones dwell in Svartalfheim the mountain giants dwell in Jotunheim the fire giants dwell in Muspelsheim. Niflheim is the world of ice and darkness. Only the dead dwell in Helheim. And that is where you must travel. Yep, pretty, uh, pretty familiar. Um, pretty familiar things from the God of War series. How do I, it, I don't know if it's not giving me any, like, uh, any, like, hints. I mean, obviously there's audio cues, but if it's not telling me what buttons to press because I've played the game before, or if I did this same shit last time. I don't know. Also, uh, uh, I read, you're right, I do not. Uh, playing... Playing, uh, well, I looked at the PC requirements for Hellblade 2. My fucking rig is getting old, man. This is four years ago, and I was able to play near these settings, but, um. Why did she do that? She shouldn't have done it. Ah, uh, God, these fucking voices are tripping me up. So that voice is hers. Is her is hers in her own head, and then the rest of them that sounds so close. Those are not hers. Well, they are hers, but they're, you know. Is that the Muspelheim? Uh, God damn it, Rune. 
the rune for Muspelheim. The PC requirements uh, is gonna make my fucking rig look like a joke. I'm gonna have to play like somewhere near medium settings, between medium and high. I was just hiding. I find I live longer that way. It's so cool how they're able to incorporate, like, live-action footage in a game and just, like, just a simple trick of blurring it so you can't, like, really, you can't see it. Uh, that's right, that's right. Is it this? Yeah, I remember this shit. <sighs> Sorry, I've lost my train of thought from what I was talking about earlier, but uh, PC requirements? Yeah, I'm gonna have to run on like medium to high. I need to fucking. I need a new fucking. Uh, Graphics card and processor if I ever want to keep up. But those are some hefty investments. Six years enslaved in hell. But I watched the Northmen. Learned their ways. I know you did. You listen? When everyone else laughed. My people paid the heavy price. Carry my stories with you. And together we will make the Northmen feel our fury. That doesn't look fucking safe at all. Jesus Christ. She once tried to make them go away. Pretend they weren't real. But what good is that? When we are. God, that would fucking suck, huh? To know that the voices in your head aren't real and you have to tell, like, you have to tell yourself it's not real, it's not real, and they fucking are so incessant. I can't imagine. I guess it's the same with heights. You can stand on the edge, pretend it's going to be okay. But you know that death is near, waiting for you. Make that little slip. You can't just wish things away. I guess once you get into Helheim, you're never getting out. Uh, unless you're alive? Wouldn't it just be a shortcut if you- Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, okay. I'm actually balancing here. Oh, God. Jesus fucking Christ. Okay. Nope, nope. I'm good. Just let me focus here for a second. Ah, no, okay. Well, oh, fuck me. The world of the dead is ruled by the giantess, Hela, daughter of Loki. The gods feared her bloodline, bad on her mother's side and yet much worse on her father's. So, as a child, the Allfather cast her down into Helheim and gave her power over those who die of sickness, age, hardship, and self-slaughter. In all of the nine worlds, only Hela can resurrect the dead. Mm. To Hela, your Dillion was sacrificed. And with her, you must bargain. 
Gotcha, okay. I think I'm remembering a little bit here. We are going to confront Hela to get our fucking husband back. Husband was, uh, sounds like he was sacrificed. Hearing Druth talk about the Northmen, it sounds like maybe in somewhat of a war, uh, the Northmen sacrificed her husband, um, to Hela, maybe for their own purposes, like to win the war or some shit like that, I don't know. It is fucking really dark, in case you're wondering, yeah, maybe that's also what was up with the footage too, it's very fucking dark in here. Uh, sorry, did not mean to just zoom in on the fucking, on the wood. But yeah, it sounds like the Northman sacrificed, maybe the Northman sacrificed her husband in some sort of battle. Captured him, sacrificed him, and so she's taking his head to Hela to resurrect him. God, I hope it teaches me how to fight because I do not remember. Damn, I'm getting hella stuttering, so I apologize if that shows up in the... in the footage. I forgot about this mechanic, son of a bitch. Oh. Oh! Yeah, I'm trying. Okay. Oh! Okay. Whoa! Bitch! Holy shit, okay, okay. Uh... That's... Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Alright, so it's already locked on. A is to move around. B is to rush. Parry! Ugh. Heavy attack. Oh! Ugh. What? What? Ugh! Uh, I don't know how to do this. Uh, Jesus. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Uh, 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 I know. Uh, am I supposed to die here? What's happening? Ah. Uh, Jesus fucking Christ. The fucking ground is like not solid. Uh 
Ugh. And she's dead. Oh, God, that's so creepy. A vision of what's to come. Poor Senua. The darkness does not bargain. It does not reason. It is rot. And now it has taken hold. It will spread towards her head, the seed of the soul, until there is nothing left of her. All of her suffering will have been for nothing. It's just a matter of time. The dark rot will grow each time you fail. If the rot reaches Senua's head, her quest is over. And all progress will be lost. The hardest battles are fought in the mind. That is what Dillian taught her. With every defeat, the dark rot will grow and soon it will take her soul. But for now, at least, she still has control of her mind. And she will fulfill her vow. Whatever the cost. Well then, is that all I have to do? Is kill a couple gods? She needs to challenge the gods. She has to fight two gods first. Two gods, two gates. Hmm. She's going to die. Which one will she challenge? That's not funny. Um. Uh. I will. Hmm. I will probably choose in the next one. I don't know. I don't know what's a good like how to. I'll just leave it running like this. They're done talking, so I'm gonna end this episode right here. Uh, hopefully that's a, a nice, a nice portion size uh, for anyone who's watching. And like I said before, all the other episodes are gonna be uploaded, and. Uh, you should be able to watch them at your leisure. So, with all that being said, uh, if you did make it to this part of the video, I strongly suggest you subscribe because, you know, why the hell not? And, um, you know, if you're here with me on this journey again, I mean, it's crazy that I, I you know, I only replayed one game on my channel ever before that was Red Dead 2 and I played it once I hit PC. Um, and I feel like it was worth it. I did a hundred percent playthrough on that second run, but I just, I really, I want good quality stuff to, to show the world and what I had, you know, from back in the day on this game just wasn't that. So I'm hoping that I can buff this up a little bit with Hellblade 2 right around the corner. Um, I hope you're as stoked for it as I am because I, I, this is actually an incredible game. And I'm so, like, I, I'm i just bewildered that it never got more recognition when it first came out. And uh, I am 
I'm a huge proponent of it. I am very excited to see what they do with the second one. And plus this one's also fairly short, so it's not going to take up too much of my time to do a playthrough and uh, and re-upload it. So, uh, anyways, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on your way out the door, I'd be sincerely appreciated. And of course, how the fuck do I end these again? <laughs> if you do plan on sticking around, I hope you see me in the next one. Thanks again.